Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine. I have a five card spread here for you. And this is for Sagittarius. Last but not least, it has taken me all week to do these because I've been extremely busy as usual. But you are last but not least. Sagittarius, this is your reading for November 2020. I have pre shuffled the cards. And this is my brand. Please do not attempt to copy my material. Also, if you're under the age of 18, please click off now. I want to, before I get started, I'd like to show you my cup. I'm using my Halloween cups. This one's called I Put a Spell on You. And it comes with a little spoon. It looks like the broomstick of the witch. Yeah, and you can make uh, your magic potion in here. <laughs> and I have my magic potion in here i'm not going to tell you what it is but there's not much left because i've been sipping on it <sighs> okay let's get started with the reading sagittarius for the first card we have temperance now here is first of all what's on my card <laughs> There's always stuff on my damn cards, y'all. Yeah. Okay, so Tempest. I'm seeing that you're going to have to have patience this month, Sagittarius. A whole lot of patience in the month of November. All right. So you, and, and you, I see you're going to be trying to find balance as well. Look at his feet. One foot in the water, one on land. So that represents balance. Okay. The same with the life flow of these cups. Back and forth, back and forth. That's your life flow. What you need to do is get on this path here and go to the new day. That represents a brand new day. So I do see that coming for you, but you're going to have to have a whole lot of patience because I see a lot of things here in this reading. Okay, so the next one is the Ten of Wands. I'm seeing that you really, really have a heavy burden on you, and you're in deep thought about it too. There's a lot of blue in this background, which always represents deep thought. You see how the man is hunched over. He's carrying all these wands. These wands represent money, life, career, love, friendship, so on and so forth. But he's still managing to carry them only. It's a very, very heavy burden. So I am seeing that with you. I'm seeing that you're carrying not only everybody else's burden. I mean, not only your burden, but everybody else's as well. I'm seeing people, family members, friends, even at work, putting a heavy load on you. I'm also seeing your job giving you extra work that is not even in your job description and you're doing it and not getting paid for it for some of you. Um, if this resonates with you, remember it's general. If it doesn't resonate with you, come back for a personal reading with my information down below. Contact me and I'll come back at you. All right. So I'm seeing that you're going to have to stop and think, get your priorities straight and drop some of these wands. Okay. Sometimes you have to put yourself first, Sagittarius. You have to take care of yourself before you can take care of anybody else. Okay, and that's what I'm seeing here. Um, I'm seeing someone that's unloading their burdens on you because they want you to either take care of them, they're spending all your money, they're in your house, living off you and not working. Um, I'm also seeing someone at work putting their work off on you and you're doing it and not even saying anything. Um, yeah, I'm seeing extra things being dropped on you. A lot of extra work, extra things on you. Um, yeah. Also, find balance. This is what this whole reading is about. Find balance, rethink every situation. If you're being, uh, put too much work on you at work, you need to check your job description and then talk to the higher up and tell them, look, I'm not getting paid for this. It's not even written in my job description. So I'm putting some of these wands down, all right? That's what you need to do, including friends, lovers, relationships. This card does represent Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, okay? So I am seeing because of that, you're going to have to make a decision because here we have the Two of Swords. Again, you're in deep thought, very deep thought. This person has their back to the ocean, and you see how the water in the background is not smooth. It's kind of wavy and turbulent. That means turbulent times. You're, you're at a crossroads. You've come... Finally, after this heavy load, after living this way this month, you've arrived and you've decided, okay, it's time for me to make a decision. Which way am I going to go? So you're literally standing at a crossroads. That's what these two swords represent. Okay. 
Am I at a crossroads? Which way should I go? Which way should I turn? This person is blindfolded. So this, that does represent um, not sure, not sure of themselves, not sure where to go, what to do, you know. Um, so you're going to have to really, really think about it. And this is what this blue in the background represents, deep thought. I see in deep thought in the month of November, Sagittarius. I'm also seeing stalemate because an indecision. This is the card of stalemate and indecision. But I am seeing stagnation. You're kind of stalled right now because you don't know which way to turn. Maybe uh, a check got delayed or an answer that you were waiting for got delayed. Maybe your job delayed you on a new project or at school, the same thing. Um, I'm also hearing a temporary truce. Some of you went into a temporary truce. Maybe you were arguing or fighting and you decided, okay, it's time to do a temporary truce to see which decision we're going to make. Are we going to make it or not make it? I see that with a loved one. I am seeing, seeing a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius here. If you're involved with the Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, you're at a temporary truce. And you're like, okay, we got to decide what we're going to do. It's not working. Which way are we going to go? What are we going to do? Okay. So, yeah. So, now here comes the tricky part, Sagittarius, because now... We have the Seven of Swords here. This is a very sneaky person. This might be the person you're dealing with. That's why you're in a temporary truce. Again, this is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I am seeing this person. See how he's sneaking off, and he's looking over his shoulder to make sure no one's looking at him because he stole all these swords. Okay, I'm seeing someone at work that might have stolen something off your desk when you weren't looking, or someone is trying to steal your idea, your work, your mate, your soulmate, um, your purse, I mean, anything that could be stealing anything from you. Okay, this also could be family members that are doing this, friends, uh, relatives, someone at work, or whatever. If you're involved with a Gemini, even a Chris, as far as relationship, I see this person that ha is talking to many, many people on the internet, not just you. And they're sneaking, thinking that you're not knowing or not watching them. I see them looking at um, videos like porn, porn, porn. I see porn. I see them talking to women on those 1-800 numbers, chatting with a bunch of females or male. Could be vice versa. If it's a, if it's a woman, could be chatting with a lot of men. So this, this is both genders here. Okay, but this person left these two swords behind, so that's evidence. That's evidence left behind that you're going to find out in November, okay? They, they're going to either leave a text message they forgot to erase or a phone call, an email or something. You're going to find something out. Maybe somebody's going to come tell you or you're just going to see it with, with your own eyes. But you're going to find that out, which is going to be, you know, a blow up here. You're going to be a blow up. Maybe that's why you're installed in these no stalled truths, you know. Okay, so now let's go on to another subject. For some of you, I am seeing marriage, okay? There's two people in front of the priest. It looks like they're carrying a baby or it could be, um, you know, the marriage license. But this is a baby card as well. So I am seeing some of you are going to be pregnant this month, announcing that you're pregnant, going to get pregnant or want to get pregnant, okay? Um, I'm seeing three of coins here so that represents bonuses some of you are going to be getting small bonuses coming in at work um you're going to be recognized for your skill i am hearing recognition for some skill that you've done uh, maybe that's what you've been waiting for all this time or, or at work at school as well um i'm seeing an award being accepted and i'm also seeing a graduation or a um, some kind of, um, how do you say, a banquet where you're being presented with an award, okay? Some of you might attend that maybe virtually because, you know, of the, of the virus. Also, I am seeing, um, like I said, a baby. Some of you will be announcing Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You might be having a baby from them or vice versa, um, them from you, uh, yeah. So this is actually not a bad card. I hear congratulations. As to, I'm also hearing material gain. Some of you are going to gain some kind of material wealth. Maybe someone's going to give you something that's worth money. or And you're going to turn around and... Um, yeah, you're going to turn around and sell it and, and make more money. I'm also seeing some of you are going to be accepted to groups, like social groups. You've been waiting to hear about a social group. Maybe you, you know... 
went online and, uh, and uh, put an application to be in some type of social group, I am seeing you be accepted for that or a fraternity at school or something like that. So, yeah, so not bad with this card. Okay, Sagittarius, so a small recap. Find your balance. Find your your patience here. Your load is heavy, so think about yourself first. Rethink everything and start over. And then you got your decisions here. You got to make your decisions. Temporary truths or stalled negotiations I'm seeing for you. And then you got this little uh, thief. Thief in the mist cheater liar whoever this person is get rid of them and then you got this baby marriage card and recognition all right sagittarius this is your reading for november 2020 y'all give me a big thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe share with your friends if you want a personal reading contact me with the information down below hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when i upload another video thanks for watching see you next time bye